Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for all the sun, moon, and rising sign. I want to say to each and every person out there, thank you for being here, thank you for being back, thank you for the support, likes, and shares. Um, also, the support through the hurricane season. Okay, thank you so much. All right, um, it's a week of um. This is whatever the week is. The week is the week of the full. Um, it's a week of the air energy, new things, new journeys, new situations happening in your life. And we also have the energy vibration of also the heart energies and the air energies. Okay, so let's look and see what's going to happen because it's going to be wonderful. Whatever the situation is, it's going to be a positive situation. You are trying to protect yourself from certain energies and certain things. And this is going to be wonderful. So, <clears throat> please remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. Okay, let's look and see what is your number energy in this week. Um, it's going to be whatever is happening with the Queen of Cups in the organization. Um the number four energy is very positive in this week whatever is happening we have the number four energies that is working in this week so let's look and see you have the number four on monday we have the hierophant which is wonderful for you tauruses because the energy of the hierophant is your energy vibration with other groups of people and other situations in your life this is very good because what you're doing is that you're cleaning whatever karmas that are there you're trying to bring forward positive things, positive energies in your life with other people. And this is a situation that you're having with the Queen of Cups with the organization. This woman hasn't been um, positive. She um, is, she lies. Um, she works on the lower energy vibration. She has just done something that is injustice. And uh, she's been caught up with the lies and whatever she was doing. Okay. So this person is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion. Okay, whoever this person is, whatever has happened, um, with you with this person organization, she's going to be catched up with her lies and whatever that she was doing. Okay. As we move on, we have the energy vibration of the hair and we have justice. So whatever that has been happening, you're going to um, have justice against a situation that you were brought in, justice clearing and cleansing a situation and um, you are going to receive money, um, receive money because there is a situation that has been happening that whatever ha took place, there was an injustice and money will be returned turn to you so and as for some people money will be paid out to you that an injustice that was taken place money is going to really paid out to you okay something went wrong some lies someone was lying and cheating and that sort of a thing in that sort of a form of injustice and money is going to be returned to you as we move on we have crowning your week we have the seven of ones crowned in your week whatever the situation is we have the seven of ones crowned in your week the seven of ones uh, is a situation that you're trying to protect yourself from outside influences you are trying to be positive but yet still people are coming at you and don't worry because you have a very strong foundation so whatever that has taken place whatever lies that was told whatever people were trying to do you are protecting yourself you have a very strong foundation so there's nothing to worry about you need to understand that whatever the situation was you are going to be justified and you're standing very strong this is a fire energy and this is your inner passion trying to protect you from outside influences at the end of the day you're going to be very very um, support you're going to receive support and you're going to build a very very strong situation whatever that situation was so on Thursday we have another fire energy um, the energy of the fire the passion you're finding in a passion um, the week uh, is you protecting yourself from certain things that has been happening 
we have the five of wands which is this five of wands is conflicts other people are having conflicts and you're sitting down there planning your way out and looking your way forward and this is the best thing to do whatever you feel because sometimes people said I didn't see this coming the red signs were there and you saw it coming and you can feel a certain situation where you're in a certain situation and you think that it's time to move on from something there are people that are having conflicts with each other walk away from it move away from it because whatever is happening know that you are going to come out on top there is a message coming in and this message is going to help you to have temperance and balance whatever the situation is you're going to understand that you need to have temperance and balance with a a message that is coming in you need to have temperance and balance whoever or whatever is um, um, you know being um, in this in this situation whatever um, people have been doing and lying and what whatsoever has been going out no but on Sunday Saturday the energy of the Sun is here another fire energy so it's good for you Taurus is because this week is actually um, the third week the week is from the 18 until the 24th and whatever is happening is that the fire energies are coming up and helping you guys whatever is happening you are going to be connecting with other people to build network and that sort of a situation and this is going to be very positive to you because other people are going to want to um, bring positivity in your life by working with you together and bring in positive energies out so whatever is happening on Sunday your enemies are in the reverse form they can't touch you anymore um, the inner strength you're finding in the strength the diversity over your enemies which this is saying and this is showing you that whenever you ask the universal angels and guide for help in situation it comes so your enemies they can't touch you anymore whatever that was injustice whatever that they were lying about and people were trying to um, make you look bad in a bad light it's, it's they can't touch you anymore because everything has fallen into place it's the truth the truth has come out who was affecting you it was uh, someone who was an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius whoever this person was this person was um, this guy's lie um, this person was not a very nice person whoever this person was was just not a very nice person whatever is happening is that you're going to overcome whatever dishonesty that he has done to you so um, this is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius and these people are very dishonest people they um, have you know a sort of an energy that um, they want to be sure they you know they will do anything for money that's another thing they will do anything for money so be aware of these people and whoever this person was you have overcome them this um, was someone who was in the energy vibration of uh, working trying to work against you um, to make his or herself better but um, it's like they were you know selling you out for someone or something but um, it backfired on them there's a lot of backfiring actually going on in this week so again what is happening for you is that whoever um, in an organization there was a woman in an organization and she was a, a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion I'm feeling that it's a scorpion because the scorpions are very um, you know are very disruptive they can they can create um, they can really create a um, calm a karmatic situation and that person whoever she was she was a liar in the organization and you are going to be victoriously successful over the situation and uh, this person did something for someone who is uh, an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius okay so be aware um, what spilled out but you have a very strong foundation you have one the number four energies is the angels call upon the angels and guides to come in and help you because they are the one who have been helping you um, on Sunday to finish the week your enemies have no more effect over you you're moving away you're pretending as if they weren't even there 
on Saturday the Sun comes out over you and you'll be connected with other people trying to build something and this is going to be good in this week for a lot of people there isn't the energy of love there is the energy of celebration for you guys this week is actually you're protecting yourself and you're celebrating a winning of uh, um, something that has happened so this is a very very positive week uh, for most of you um, it's the, the week is just not focused on love on whatever the love energy is it's not focusing on love it's focusing on you trying to heal um, certain aspect in your life and move away from certain things okay so let's move forward I'm working with Archangel Michael this week seeing that I've survived the hurricane I'm saying thanks <laughs> <laughs> I'm so going to Archangel, so I'm saying thanks to that. So let's see what Archangel Michael had for you, Tauruses, in this week. And you have right about the situation. Um, you know, say your thoughts and feelings. And this, this is something that comes up all the time. It says, thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creative wisdom so that I clearly express myself and um, um, gain insights and blessing and healings. Okay, so whatever the situation is, if you're a writer, if you like to keep a diary or whatever, try and keep a diary and write down exactly what had happened. And uh, you know you can always remember the situation so that some uh, and another person who is of this energy vibration can never touch you because this man is definitely a deceitful person okay and you need to get rid of uh, deceitful people out of your life I'm also using the ascendance mass the ascension cards which is a wonderful situation whatever is happening let's ask the angels and guide um, the hurt energy and this is wonderful because it's the ending of the hurt energy vibration for um, now until December so you have the hurt energy vibration it's the uh, one and four is five and it says this card invites you to connect to Lady Gaia the angels in charge of the hurt of the, our planet as well as Tara the element master of the hurt and is elementals including the goblins and the and the pixie um invoke master um um Rogasi, the master of the 11th ray of mysticism to help you attune to the wisdom of our glorious earth then listen to its heartbeat to further expand your consciousness, ask the hurt dragons to help you connect to hollow earth and the Lemurian wisdom. Hurt loves nature and we and welcome you. So this is a card of joy and celebration. I thank Lady Gaia for inviting me to hurt at this time. So this is a profound wonderful situation whatever the situation was whatever that was going on um, you need to know that whatever that was injustice in an organization whatever lies that was told by someone who is a scorpion I'm, I'm receiving scorpion for a lot of people it could be the scorpion sun moon and rising of the sun this person also if it's not a scorpion they have um, the scorpion sun moon and rising sign it can be a Pisces or a cancer but it's more of something that the scorpion it has something to do with this person she has been lying and deceiving an organization an organization have to pay you a lot of money because just to step in and the injustice of whatever she has done is in an organization the seven of ones you're protecting yourself it's a week of protection but a week of celebration so you're celebrating something and protecting yourself at the same time you have the energy vibration of the five of ones which is conflict with other people but let's say this and let's look at it in this way let people have their conflicts they need to clear whatever energies do not get involved with their conflicts just heal yourself and move on okay so I want to say to each and every person remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and remember that only love is real no matter what people are telling you and um, connect um, with us for the next week um, the storm is gone so we're back to normal. So, namaste until next week.